You'll notice one thing about the sand and bow put. It's a lot coarser. Very big sand granules. I don't know if you can see that. It's very rough on your feet. It's not like Chawang. The Chawang sand is really soft. And this is, I say, is really coarse. Daddy Cup. This bloke has a thankless job. Look how far he has to go. Every morning you do this. Every morning. How long does it take you? All the way up there. Right. So he's got maybe 100 metres of beach he has to, has to do this. Although, what an office, hey? This is Karma Resort, and of course it's right on the beach. Look at that view as you're kicking back on your deck chair. This is quite nice, really nice swimming pool. Beautifully designed, you can just sit there in the pool that overlooks uh, the island of uh, Copenhagen. Beautiful. I was asked the other day, why do I shoot all these resorts in the morning when there's no one around? Well, if I do it during the day, when there's kids and people just kicking back on their holiday, um, I have been <laughs> not abused but told to bugger off so I find the best time is to do it when there's no one around and I can actually get up and check out the front of some of these resorts some of them you can't actually get in they have gates uh, and they're obviously for the guests so there you go that's why I do these morning walks for that reason and another reason is what a magical time of the day, you got the beach to yourself and your thoughts and the sound of the ocean This is a nice little resort very chilled very Thai style all the old wood, little bar, restaurant there, beautiful little front garden, what a magical view that is. Yeah, this is called Cactus, I'm pretty sure that's what that sign says. Very nice if you want that little chilled out hideaway with all the gardens, Thai style. That's inside the restaurant, I really can't get up there. I'm not allowed to, but I can shoot from this angle.
this place really stands out amongst the other resorts. All the other resorts are big concrete bunkers. This one here feels more like someone's house. Very nice. Here's a nice little place. This is called Pico Beach Bungalows. They have 12 rooms right on the beach. Very nice. I can't quite get up here because I don't want to dirty their floor, but got a nice little chill out pool there. And there's also the restaurant, which looks out over the bay. Virtually all these resorts along Bay Put are right on the beach. I don't know the name of this resort, however, you can uh, hire your own little bungalow right on the beach. I'll see if I can get up and uh, just grab a quick shot of one of the bungalows if there's no one there. Yeah, so that's one of these little bungalows. Your own little private gate. An entrance down to the beach. This place has to be relatively new, at least the last nine years. It's called Sea Grill, Grill Bar and Restaurant. That'd be a nice place to have lunch, right on the deck, overlooking the bay. Good morning. Good morning. Sandy Cup, another bloke cleaning the beach, getting prepared for the day. Not sure what's going on here, whether this is half finished or just this break wall has started to erode over the years. You know what, maybe it's just a bit of both. This place is called Sandy Resort. Yeah, I think poor old Sandy needs some uh, renovations. I don't think this place is in use. You can see that the, uh, the deck has collapsed. Very peaceful down this part of Beauport. This place is right up the other end from Bandara, and this is called Zazen. This is right on the water as you can see. The tide's right up this morning.
Very funky little bar right on the beach. Very rustic. There's a nice swing that you could chill out on. And plenty of sunbeds. Alright, that's a wrap on this vid. I'm going to make my way back to Bandara and have myself a nice breakfast. Catch you later guys.